indigenous peoples live and depend from the nature and that make us vulnerable to the climate change impact. So from all over the world, we are the one who are facing the first hand of the climate change. From the floods to our islands, indigenous communities, to the glacier melting, to the indigenous peoples of the Arctic, to the forests burning from Amazon to Congo Basin or to Indonesia, but of course from the savannas that drying and getting the floods in Chad and in all spaces that indigenous peoples live there. As we are involving on the climate change discussions, the greatest challenge for us is getting the space of the decision making and getting the people listening what we are saying. We don't want to be a checking list. We want it to be the one who can take the lead and the world can be taken into consideration. My main message today is we don't have time at all. We need to end the fossil fuel now. We cannot make a just transition if we are continuing digging the earth. We have to put the right of indigenous peoples in the heart of each action and decision that we are taking. And we have to consider the traditional knowledge of indigenous peoples as solutions. Otherwise, we are very far to end the climate change. We are only three months to the COP28. We need all to come together as partners. We need the voice and the action of private sector, of civil society, the leaders and wisdom of indigenous peoples to go to the COP28 with a concrete decisions to end the fossil fuel, to put the real cash for the loss and damage that we are facing today, to have the direct access finance for the indigenous peoples to be a reality, actionable, and we can see on the COP24, no, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And we can go at the next COP29 with the emission that down, not up.